Hey everybody, Ryan Stroud with PC Perspective. Today we're going to quickly talk about NVIDIA's new Whisper Mode technology. Whisper Mode is actually a feature introduced by NVIDIA at around the same time they were talking about the Max-Q Design notebooks. And Max-Q Design was all about thinner form factors, uh, better power consumption, thinner, lighter, quieter designs. Whisper Mode actually takes that another step further and offers the ability to, through software settings, dynamically change or adjust the audio signature of a gaming notebook. Now, this is actually doesn't just apply to Max-Q notebooks, even though the two machines we happen to have in an office to do this testing with were Max-Q designs. Whisper Mode, uh, if you have the right GFE version and the right driver version are compatible with any gaming notebook with a GTX 1060 or higher. So if you have a 1050, it doesn't work, but a 1060 or higher is all you need to get this functionality. Essentially, what Whisper Mode is and does is it is a frame rate limiter that uses uh, dynamic uses the GeForce experience capability to adjust image quality settings and kind of combines those things in a way that lowers your frame rate, lowers your power consumption, lowers you know thermal uh, uh, signatures of the GPU itself in order to run fans at lower speeds and thus making it a quieter experience. You might be asking why you care about this. If you've ever used a gaming laptop and you're not using headphones, or even if you are, somebody else in the room like your wife or girlfriend is not, uh, then you might understand some of the pain points of having a, a gaming machine going full bore out for a couple of hours at a time while you play Overwatch. Uh, so Whisper Mode is, is NVIDIA's attempt to kind of figure out a way to adjust for some of that. It only works on AC power. Um, you enable it in GeForce Experience, right? So you open up the GeForce Experience, there is a toggle for Whisper Mode on or off, and then it gives you the indicator to optimize all of your games for whisper mode through a one-click capability that GFE has always had. Now the default setting um, is going to shift from game to game, right? The, the image quality settings will change, and in general what we have seen is the frame rate cap is actually 40 frames per second, although you can go into uh, the NVIDIA control panel and adjust that on a per game basis. Your range is 30 FPS all the, up to the, all the way up to the max refresh rate of the display, in five FPS increments, um, although it is pretty cumbersome to have to enable it in GFE. You know, you do your optimization in your games, and then you go into the control panel separately if you want to adjust it. Now, my general assumption is that most people will enable it and then just play their games and be fine. If you find one game where, hey, I don't want to run this at 40, I want to run this one at 60 or 50 or something like that, uh, you can go into the control panel and make those adjustments as necessary. It could be a little bit smoother in operation, however. Um, so we did really quick A-B testing on two machines, the MSI GS63VR Max-Q with uh, the GTX 1070 Max-Q in there, and then we still had our Asus ROG uh, Zephyrus with the GTX 1080 Max-Q here to look at as well. Now, um, we used Metro Last Light and Hitman as just a quick spot check of games. Um, in general, uncapped. With, without whisper mode enabled, we were running at about 100, you know, between 100 and 120 frames per second on both of these systems. Uh, we'll have a review up of the MSI system soon, and we've already had a review of the Zephyrus, so you can get a general idea of performance there. When you enable whisper mode, we are running these games at kind of a static, flat 40 FPS. Uh, and as a result, noise level, power consumption, and all those clock speeds come down. So the MSI GS63 VR saw moderate improvements in sound testing, right? And we've got here just kind of showing you what we use. We had our X-Tech 407738 sound level meter, has a noise floor of 20 dB, uh, a very high quality device. And this was essentially the test setup we used for it. It was about six, it's about six inches above the surface of the machine, just off to the right-hand side. Consistency is all that matters in this case. For the MSI machine, Metro Last Light saw a three dBA drop in sound level with uh, whisper mode enabled. And in Hitman, we only actually saw like one and a half dBA improvement, giving you an indicated indication that maybe the MSI machine is always kind of on that edge of performance, right? It's always on that edge of, uh, of its thermal dissipation limits, right? Whereas in the ROG Zephyrus here, we actually saw over six dBA drop in sound levels in Metro Last Light, and actually more than 12 dBA sound level in uh, Hitman, actually. So that's a significant, significant drop. Now, when we did that, we were curious to see like what the clock speeds were dropping to, because clearly that's really what's happening. Running in its uncapped state, 
Um, the, in Metro Last Light, the ROG Zephyrus was running at about 1600 megahertz. The GTX 1080 Max-Q was running at about 1600 megahertz. Uh, and it was drawing 158.7 watts from the wall. When we enabled Whisper Mode, that dropped to about 700 megahertz and just under 80 watts, so like 67% drop in power consumption, uh, moving from, non, from uncapped to the Whisper Mode. Now, so that's, that's, that's pretty impressive, right? But it is clearly going to differ a little bit just depending on the notebook you're using. If you have one of the larger form factor, thicker, maybe even louder, uh, GTX 1060, 1070, 1080 systems that aren't Max-Q designs, you could actually see more uh, of an improvement than the MSI, but maybe somewhere less than the ROG Zephyr, somewhere in between would probably be my guess. But the, the, the proof is that it just kind of works. We ran into one bug where like Dirt Rally, running at 40 FPS, had some, had some weird visual anomalies reported to NVIDIA. They verified it, they're going in, they're kind of adjusting the settings and the, and the frame rates in that regard. So there may be a hiccup every once in a while with this type of technology. But in general, it does exactly what NVIDIA promised it was going to do. It's super easy. It's a simple software driver GFE install and update. Uh, and it's hard to complain about new features and capabilities. Even if you choose not to use them, it's nice to have that option there. Uh, if, you, if, you, if you're concerned about the audio, that you hear, uh, the sound that your gaming machine is making for you or for others in the general vicinity. We have a full story up on PCPer.com. Make sure you go check that out for benchmarks and, and more details on Whisper Mode as well as the MSI GS, uh, let me rephrase that here, the MSI GS 63 VR 1070 Max-Q designs. Well, all that coming up very soon. We'll see you next time, guys. Thanks.